Alright and welcome back to Skarvig in the Atlas and yeah so last episode I decided to leave the Freeport just one over and have a look at the island that was nearby this place is nuts I mean I barely even touched the sides of the uh, place last time and I decided to go exploring this place has buildings everywhere there's really really strange rock formations there's basically I went all the way to the top of that peninsula there um, there is actually a building up there as well like a little fireplace and a lookout and all the rest of that um, you sort of travel all the way around and it goes in a big spiral and comes back down and there's various different land bridges and I mean in the distance there you can actually see there's buildings built into the face of the cliff here on these lakes there's buildings just sitting here it is fascinating someone's gone to the trouble of actually drawing and coming up with the concept that these buildings should actually be here probably the only downside from a, an atlas point of view is they haven't gone to the trouble of actually uh, populating these with NPCs that would probably to me have just made this an absolute killer idea. I mean, it's lovely that they've actually, you know, whoever thought up these ideas is fantastic. I mean, I'm barely even touching the sides of what I've actually seen as I've actually explored this island. There's an extraordinary amount, and this is a single island on a single zone. So, yeah, the developers of Atlas have obviously employed some very interesting. Uh, artists and concept designers for their islands. They're, um, I can see a lot of promise for this. I mean, the game is still early access, so for all the naysayers that don't actually like the game and think that it's full of bugs, you got to remember that this game is it's not actually released yet as a full game. They're still developing. And you probably noticed this random thing on my shoulder. I picked one up. I found a rabbit. So the rabbit itself is not really that interesting. Um, but we have a look at my stats. So I've got 100 health, 100 food, 100 oxygen, 400 weight, 100 intelligence, uh, 100 stamina, 100 water, and 32 fortitude. I pick up the rabbit and uh, let's have a look. What is different? Hmm, actually nothing. Oh, I thought something changed when I picked that up. I know some pets do actually make a difference. Oh, nothing there. Okay. I'm not sure what it is that this thing's offering me. I know it's been making some noises. Um, I just like the fact that I could get a shoulder pet. Um, the I think it's like the raven or the crow that you can pick up improves your intelligence. Um, the parrot I think might improve your. No, it might be the parrot that in, is intelligence and improves your crafting. Various different shoulder pets improve various different stats. Not sure what the rabbit does. Um, we can always find out. So at this rabbit, what does it do? Uh, we'll run away if attacked. Utility. They alert you to dangerous creatures nearby. Okay, well I've been hearing it making noises, so it just tells you that there's something dangerous nearby. And there was actually another one running around here somewhere. But yeah, they're, they're not too hard to tame. You follow them, you feed them berries, uh, and you can pick one up. It's actually not a bad spot. I am going to basically take this spot that I'm standing now, and this is where I am going to build my base. I'm going to have to build various different ladders and uh, bridges and whatever else because I'm actually a little bit high up compared to where my ship is. So if we... that's an interesting coloured fish. Hmm. Anyway, so over here, if we look over this cliff, there's another series of ponds and over there, there is actually a can I do this without falling down? Probably not. Mm, can 
get up here. Okay, so yeah, over there, there's a gap in the wall. That was where I was looking up to in the last episode. And so inside that little gap, there's actually crystal and all the rest of it. Uh, whereas I've climbed up and I've managed to get to here. And this is where I'm going to basically build my base. I'm liking this spot. It's just really, really looks nice. I know that the resources are abundant and I can get everything I need. So yeah, let's get into it. Need to actually choose my spot. And we're going to build a base. Um, this is a little bit slopey on this side, although it has a view. Just jump up here and have a look. Wow. Jesus, that's not... I think my boat's just around the corner over there. Uh, I might actually build up here. We can probably build a some kind of a lift off here too to get down to the bottom. And that would um, mean that I can utilize that deep water down there as a port. Maybe. Alright. So, what do I need first? I guess we need to have a look at our construction menu. Um, I probably don't want to be building with thatch. Uh, wood is a little way away. We can definitely get to it. I haven't been spending any points at all. So that's wood. Metallurgy. What does it offer? No. Nope. Crafting speed. Improved crafting. No. Nope. No. Nope. Seamanship. Where are the stone buildings? Hello cow, I can see you walking there. Okay, so stone's all the way down the bottom. So I'll need to do crafting speed, improve crafting speed. Nothing specific that I get to build more crafting speed but now I need one more point so one more level and I can get that I do have a level that I haven't applied so let's do that uh, more fortitude stone buildings fantastic all right uh, turn off the inventory and let's have a look stone no. Wooden floor, wooden ceiling. I need storage just to sort out my blueprints from that loot box that I got. Okay, so... Stone floor. So I just got that. Gives access to crafting to advance utility structures as well as the core stone set. So why can't I craft that? Search. Stone. It's not there. Okay. Skills. Stone. Stone floor requires a smithy. Okay. Alright, we can do this. Let's start hacking. Um, tree. Fronds and stronghood. Let's get a bit more stronghood. Uh, not the blue rock, because that's probably metal. Oh, wrong button. Copper, yes. Granite, charred on sea, and copper. So, let's get a bit of that. Uh, the f is it foundation? No. Oh, I'm searching the wrong one. Floor. Wood floor. Right. Let's craft one of those. Down here, and we will build one just here.
Nice. Alright. Now we want to get the smithy. The smithy now requires some hide and metal. Well, we've got plenty of that. Oh, jeez, encumbered. Of course I am, because I just smashed out all that stuff. Can I move a bit better? Nope. Can I put some stuff on you? Alright. Copper. And how much can you... you can't take much. Nothing, actually. Um... Hmm, can I make a storage box? Large storage box. Let's do that. Oh, can I place one just anywhere? Nice. Gonna fill up quick, but that's fine. Let's take some of the food back, some of the rocks back. What's that? Bolt oh, no, yeah, don't get rid of that. Take a few of these. Actually, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, how's my weight? It's still very we're heavy. So half of that. Alright. Metal sorted. Now What level are you? Level 6, but mate boosted. I actually need to get my pig up here too, actually. What level are you? Level 3. That'll do. Axe for hide. Oh, and another level. Everything is just going right. Smithy. Requires wood. Did I chuck my wood in the box? No. So I just need wood. We can deal with this situation. Da -da -da -da. Smithy craft. I'm really keen to also try the Blackwood map. Uh, it's something I haven't tried yet. Problem with it is that I, I'm interested in basically playing single player. And I can't play this and the Blackwood at the moment. Because for some reason, uh, the way Ark have set things up is that, yeah, you can only have one character on a single server in single player. I don't know why Atlas have done it that way at this point. Um, I suspect it's a little bit buggy. Every time I load into the Blackwood, it crashes me out. And I think it's because I have this character here on the regular server. What? Extreme close-up of my crutch. Because of cow. Uh, anyway. Uh, I've been having a wonderful time lately with all these games. My, at, my ARC series is actually doing very well. Um, from a progress point of view, I finally managed to take down one of the bosses on Ark, and I'm very happy with that. And so now I've jumped back into here to play a little bit more and see where I can go. Stone? So why can't you craft stone? Why not? What's missing? So there's a stone floor. So when I search stone, why doesn't that work? Hmm. Obviously the search function is not that crash hot. Right. Anyway, so it needs fibers, metal, stone, thatch. Fibers, metal, stone. That's thatch. That's wood. Can barely do anything. Um, right. how are you looking? You've got 88 storage, let's just chuck a bit more stuff in there. K, 
Can I craft a bookshelf? No. So we probably need to build another large storage box. Fibers, thatch, and wood. Let's just get some more. storage. Oh, we can make two. Let's do that. Go away. I'll tame you later. Uh, box. Place. shovel back. I'll look at that blueprint later. I'm going to have to build that blueprint, really. Are they items? No, they're blueprints. Blueprint. Yep. Okay. Uh, chuck a couple more in. Four more. Blueprint. Okay. And we then place the last box. Mm, map, map, map. Yeah, we'll chuck the maps in there. More blueprints. Okay, that looks much better. We're mostly sorted. Mm, chuck that in. Okay. So, we are looking for stone buildings. I need lots of stone. Let's go crazy. the level weight a lot more too. Mm, wood? Oh, hang on, that's a bookshelf. Yeah, you can't search it. That's really annoying. Um, Oh no, you can. Excellent. I just didn't have it on the right spot. Okay. Can make four of them. Let's make all of those. Destructible rock. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'm definitely gonna have to keep going at this. I'm gonna have to collect a ton of resources. I'm gonna have to craft up a bunch of stuff, but. 
the the way I see it, uh, my main building I want to build here. I want to have it probably take up this edge and work back towards this lake. Uh, I think that will look really nice. Um, the secondary part to my base will be over here with this river and this waterfall. So I want to be able to get down there to access a few things. There were some creatures down there that I want to tame. Plus there is the crystal. So up the top here is really, you know, it's relatively safe up here. Um, I'm liking the fact that I'm left alone. So this will be where my base is. I'll build a little bridge down to where the more dangerous areas are uh, in some shape or form. All right, well, we've started our foundation and I'm already loving the stacking feature of this game. It's a little bit weird in terms of making it work, but yeah, playing Ark, it doesn't have the the stacking by default, so that's pretty good. How does that look on the other side, actually? Let's zoom out. Oh, nice. It's blending in okay with the edge. It's a little bit clipped, but that's good. Excellent. So I'm going to have my cliffside platform and that's lined up really nicely with the front. Alright, we'll go from there. Apparently I'm overheating, so we'll go for a swim. Splat. How are we looking? Uh, water decreases faster as the ambient temperature gets higher. Yeah, of course. It's not telling me the percentages. Wow, 37 degrees centigrade. It's a nice sunny day in Australia. <laughs> now we've already started getting our 30 degrees days here at the moment, so uh, something that we're used to. You shouldn't immediately get heat stroke as you go out in a 36 degree temperature though. That's a mild day. All right, so onwards. Yeah, I'm going to need to build some kind of stairs. I'm going to definitely build this out wider. All right, the grand designs are on. What else do I need? Another 23 of those. Floor, what do you want now? You want some more thatch. Okay, anyway, I'm going to continue getting tons of materials. We'll keep this build going and yeah, I'll keep it updated in stages rather than just going all out at it. Otherwise it'll just be a bit of a boring clip of me constantly hitting trees and stones and other things similar. Alright. Alright, well it's definitely taking shape now. I'm mean, just stacking stuff up, trying to make a uh, nice sort of entryway. Um, the idea is that I'm going to have a, a double ramp on either side where it walks up. Um, this looks all kinds of a little bit of weird, but I'm, it's all going to be the one flat platform up here. I just need to build a, a stupid amount of um, floor pieces. Just like this. You can see they, they require to be stacked. I haven't been able to do that in the games previous to this, like Ark. So yeah. It's not actually taking that long to collect resources. It's actually really good. Probably actually takes more time crafting than actually collecting. Yeah, the other change that they made is this one. Um, albeit that you'd sort of look at me crawling in terms of my speed. In Ark, if you were encumbered like this, you would actually stop. You would not be able to move, not even the slightest. In this one, apparently, when you're encumbered, 
you still have a, a very slight default walk speed and I'm not moving too far in terms of where I want to go um, I've just got my little smithy down here so yeah load yourself up like crazy and then just crawl back to the crafting spot hello rabbit goodbye rabbit you're saying there's something angry around here but there isn't uh, floor only seven right so yeah need to uh, basically do a lot more yet but I'm liking it it's gonna go a long way also been really good for levels. I've had three so far, well this is the third one, just by hanging around here collecting resources. Uh, I have been doing fortitude so we're back into weight because I would like to actually uh, carry a lot of stuff. Chuck that in, alright. Seven more building blocks, and I definitely need more roof ones. What do I need now? Fibers. Okay. Can deal with fibers. Okay, roof. Only two. Short something else. Oh, thatch. Okay. Well, thatch is doable too. the roof when do I get I want another two more possibly need more than that but for now four is enough chuck that in there floor yes all of those off for you Probably two more on that side and have them clip into the terrain. Make that look a little bit nicer. And I probably need to invest in some triangles or something like that just to cover up that. Probably need another one there. But that's alright. All work in progress. Alright definitely liking it. We got a good amount of surface area. We then build a little bit of a house up the top here. Have some description. Yeah, get a, a lift or a set of stairs going down there so that we can access the water down that way. Build ourselves a, a shipyard. And we'll have to go down that side and build some ramps so that we can get down to the crystal and yeah we're going to be taming creatures soon so um, seeing as I've probably showcased enough of basically this side of stuff 
Oh, yep, yeah, you can whistle away all you like. Let's look up into the sky. And... Alright. I think that's basically going to do it for this episode, because, I mean, really all I've been doing is showcasing the island. Um, and what it is I'm planning on doing with my, my buildings. Um, I'm going to finish this. Um, maybe after the clip, or just in the, the closing credits, I'll showcase what the building actually looks like when I'm done with it. Um, yeah, and next episode, we'll probably do a little bit more exploring of the island. Uh, go and tame some of the creatures that are actually here. I think I saw a lion, or a tiger, or something similar was actually out there killing things. And I feel like that is going to be the, the next tame. Something that's useful, something that's... Um, Something I can actually travel around on that can actually do a bit of damage. It sounds pretty good. And there's something that I can take on me in my travels. But definitely need to work on this base. And yeah. We'll let everyone see what it looks like before I close off the video. So thanks for watching Scarvy. Uh, Soloing the Atlas. Make sure if you actually like this sort of thing, you hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. And what I really want people to do is comment. Let me know what you think of these videos. What do you think of Atlas? Um, what really do you like about the game? What you don't like about the game? What don't you like about my videos? What do you like about my videos? I just want commentary. Um, yeah, haven't had any really so far and I want more feedback than what I've been getting. So it'd be lovely to hear from you. Um, make sure that you leave a comment next time you watch the video. And we'll see you next time in Scarving in the Ark. Catch you next time and enjoy. Alright, and here is the foundation of my soon to be small base. <laughs> I call it small, but I get carried away with these things and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, I missed one. I'll have to fix that up. Anyway, so yeah, I've just basically been building up the foundations. I've got the base of my wall. I'll build that up a bit higher. Um, I haven't quite worked out what I want to do with this front section yet, but I do like my double ladder entry. Double stairs base entry, sorry. So yeah, it's um, turning out to be a nice looking starter base. Whoop. Let's go that way. Yeah. Zoom in on my now grey old looking face. It's looking a bit better. Alright. Thanks for watching Scarvig in the Atlas, and we'll see you next time.